Hey everybody, I'm Matt Weaver, Executive Chef of the Camel Club here in downtown Owensboro. Thanks for joining me in the kitchen here on Hometown TV. Today we're going to make a grilled filet salad. It's going to be a panzanella salad, which means bread. Pan means bread in Italian and a bunch of other languages. We're also going to use halloumi cheese, which is a Greek cheese. It's very firm. The coolest thing about halloumi is it has a very high melting point. So you can cook it at high temperatures and it's not going to melt. So we're going to throw it on the grill, give it a really cool char, and toss that with the grilled bread, grilled tomato, and grilled filet. So it's going to be an awesome, nice, fresh salad. Great for a nice, warm summer day. I'll start off, this is just a little four ounce filet from Wadlington's. Beautiful little piece of meat. I'm using black and white pepper here. It's a mixture. People, a lot of people think that white pepper and black pepper are easy to substitute, but they are two different things. Uh, white pepper has kind of a little bit more smoky, uh, brighter flavor, and the black pepper, of course, is you know very black, musky. All right, I've got a very hot grill. All I want to do is get some color on this. I'm actually going to cook it rare to medium rare. You know, your temperature, your choice. You can cook it all the way if you want. We're doing this fresh salad though. I like that soft, rare, medium rare temperature on this. Fresh tomato from Cecil Farms, out of the garden. You can't beat it. It's perfect for summertime. Pop the core out of here. Now, for this grilled tomato, I'm going to cut it to just big, thick chunks. I'm going to toss it with olive oil and a little salt and pepper. And when I grill it, I'm just going to put it skin side down because the skin is firm enough to handle the heat and handle everything else. And it's going to infuse the flavor of the grill, of the smoke without totally destroying it. Now if I leave it on there at this high temperature, of course it would just fall apart and drip down into the coals and turn into creosote in just a matter of minutes. But I'm just going to put it on there, mark it, let it get warm, and that's it. Like with everything, always season as I go. A little bit of salt here, a little bit of salt there, and that way every flavor, every bite throughout the whole dish is, is, has got the flavor that it needs. It's seasoned well. All right. I've got extra virgin olive oil on here, but really you can use canola oil or uh, just salad oil, anything in particular, because I'm just lubricating the ch lubricating the um, grill grates. All right. I go ahead and rotate my fillet, get those nice pretty marks. You can see it's already cooking at a high temperature. It's already got some cool color and caramelization on there. Right. So this is halloumi, H-A-L-O-U-M-I, something like that, halloumi. Um, it's part goat's milk, part cow's milk. Um, like I said, it's super firm. It's nice and salty. If you like feta cheese or uh, you know even gouda cheese, uh, it's, it's definitely in that realm. I'd say feta is probably the closest comparison I could think of. Back to the grill. It's almost like a firm tofu or something like that because it just holds up so well to cooking. Okay. Now, since I have so much flavor packed in the filet and the tomato and the bread, my vinaigrette is going to be really simple lemon vinaigrette. Now, this is a fresh brioche roll. We make these every day down here. Nice flavor on it. And hit it with olive oil as well. bread on the grill, you got to watch it pretty closely because it'll burn pretty fast, especially something like a brioche because there's so much sugar and egg in it. Back to the grill. I'm going to start it on a little bit of a cooler side just so I don't burn it. All right. Rotate my steak. Again, nice hot temperature. Doesn't take long to put some color on that guy. Cheese. Tomatoes can sit. You can tell it's already getting some char on the outside. I'm gonna let that keep going and let that color or let that flavor develop. Let the smoke and the real flavor just infuse all the way up. Bread, like I said, does not take long. It's sticking to the grill. That means leave it just a little bit longer. It should release. color on that one. That's all right. I'll move it to a hotter spot. Now, I'm going to let that go for just a second. I'm going to work on my fresh herbs. I'm going to throw them in here. Just rough. This is parsley. I like big chunky salads, big chunky bites of herbs. 
you know that's kind of the whole point of it for me when using this fresh stuff is uh, you want it to be noticeable you want it to stand out this bright grassy parsley is perfect for a salad like this with those grilled uh, grilled flavors on it now throw a little bit of fresh scallion in here with it get that onion get that again that green grassy fresh flavor Back to my grill. I'll take this steak one more time. Go ahead and pull my bread off. That guy doesn't want to let go. That's all right. Make him pull my bread off to let so it doesn't burn. Throw it on a cool spot. Go ahead and pull these tomatoes too. So this doesn't take very long, especially cooking at high heat. All right. Oh, I just did that. All right. My cheese softened up a little bit. Go ahead and take it too and let it cool down over here. There we go. Just trying to make a mess. Alright, let that filet go just another second. I'm gonna work on my vinaigrette. I've already got my herbs. It's gonna be a big base flavor base right there. I'm gonna throw some minced garlic in here. Again with the extra virgin olive oil. Fresh lemon juice. I like to do equal parts oil to lemon. Um, I think, you know, some recipes call for three parts oil, two parts oil. I just go equal. It's nice and strong, but then I add a sweetener in there, like honey or sugar, and it helps cut the acidity so that the lemon isn't too strong. This is a good local honey from uh, Five Gallon Farms, too. It's great, great clean flavor on it. All right. Pinch of salt. Go with this uh, mixture of black and white pepper again. Take my bread. I lost one. That's all right. We've got enough in our filet. I'm going to let the filet rest. Anytime you're cooking large pieces of proteins on a grill or high temperatures, you always want to come back and let it rest. So that way, because the, the juices inside are so active while it's cooking, they're, they're boiling and you know bouncing around everywhere, so you want to let it rest before you slice into it. Otherwise, all the juices that keep it nice and moist inside are going to run everywhere. I'm going to fatten this up just a little bit more because this bread is really going to soak up all of the vinaigrette. And that's where all your flavor is going to concentrate is inside the bread, which is why it's going to be one of the last things that I put in here. Right. I'm going to throw these tomatoes down. I'm going to cut them in half one more time, just so they're bite size. Now, if the skin gets too burnt, it's got a little char on it, you can throw it away. When you cook it like that, it's going to break off anyway. So. I like big rustic salads, so I'm going to leave these nice and chunky. You can make this, throw it in the walk in, throw it in your refrigerator and let it sit overnight, and then add the bread to it the next day, so that way everything cools down and it's really refreshing. Take it to lunch the next day, something like that. I like to eat it warm when it's all fresh, straight off the grill, because the flavors are intense, and nothing like nothing wrong with a warm salad, if you ask me. Okay, bread. going to tear it into chunks. It says it's still fresh, so it's nice and soft. It's not going to soak up all the vinaigrette because it's not day-old bread. It just came out of the oven just a couple hours ago, actually. Uh, and I kind of like that because it brings its own flavor to it. A lot of time, bread is just used as a filler to substitute. But sometimes, you know, it's a bread salad, so really, in my opinion, it should be the star. And our halloumi. As you can see, it's picked up some awesome color. It's not super pretty, but that's all right. It's all about taste. It's got some good colors, good caramelization on it. I'm going to do nice big chunks. Put that in there. Toss it all around. You can see I've added the tomatoes to that vinaigrette, and the juice has immediately started running off of the tomatoes. So you almost have a tomato vinaigrette in there, too. That's why you can keep the dressing pretty light and pretty simple, because all these other ingredients are going to add to the flavor. Now. Filet. It's rested. Slice it up. Okay. Set. Nice rare to medium rare. Got some juice running. 
Some people might not, might not like it that rare, and you can cook it further, but that's how I'm going to eat this later, so that's how I like it. Let me go ahead and toss my bread in. Get in there. Just mix it around. It's nice and juicy. Bread's going to soak up a lot of that. All right. Plate. Layer it up. Make sure you get some. Okay. Ah, oh, shucks, I made too much. That's all right. There we go. Put some of that juice on there. It's going to run down. It's going to soak up. It's going to be extra delicious. It's got the freshness of the herbs, the grilled flavor from the uh, from the grill. And then that salty halloumi cheese, which is really cool, nice and unique. You know, you don't see it around very often. Anyway, that's our grilled panzanella salad. I'm Matt Weaver, executive chef at the Campbell Club here in downtown Owensboro. Thanks for joining me in the kitchen on HTTV.